Hey cruisers, welcome to Cruise Gear. We are doing something that was requested by a subscriber and that is to show all of you what is in my makeup bags for a cruise. So we get asked this question a lot. I've always been just a little teeny tiny bit hesitant to do this because I am not really a beauty and makeup person. I like very natural looking makeup and I don't wear a huge amount of it and I'm not all that fussy about this type of stuff, but I've become more interested because you guys are more interested. So let's see who's here in the chat. I see a lot of people coming in. All right, I see Pete. Hi, Pete. Bless you for being the first man in the house for our, a beauty live stream. This is why we love you, Pete. I hope that um, you and your wife are doing well today. I am going to just do a little, um, just pause it right there, minimizing of my, my own image on the screen here. We actually have two computers in our live chat. We have um, my computer where I can look at the chat and then my husband has sort of the cockpit. But what we have found is that if my um, computer shows the image of myself, it's really distracting to look at myself and it also has kind of this weird delay. So it kind of trips me out a little bit. Um, so, Mr. Cruise Tips TV, it still hasn't gone away. Will you come back over here and help me get rid of it? <laughs> this is the fun thing about being live, you guys. You hear all the behind the scenes stuff. So, is that okay? Okay, perfect. So let's see who we have here. We have lots and lots of people in the, in the live stream. I am going to see if I can scroll over and see all of you. So we have Pete, Paula. Hi, Paula, I'm excited too. We have Kristen, Christina, another Christina, Lions M. Oh, hi, Kathy, you wanna see the new shirt? You wanna get one, which I think, are you talking about the one I'm wearing right now? I'll show you just a little tiny bit. This is my new tank top. Kathy. Um, I'll try to post some pictures on Facebook and Instagram, but this one's really cute. It says, you, me, and the high seas, cruisetipstv.com. And um, Kathy, this is one from Spreadshirt. So this is what we're trying out for more styles and things because I don't really like t-shirts. My husband's um, designs are in both stores though. So we have the Amazon store and we have the Spreadshirt store. And I have this tank top in pink, and then I also got a really cute kind of off the shoulder sweatshirt, if you will, in gray that has a different design on it. It's really, really cute. So tell me what you think about it, Kathy. I would love to hear. Um, Mike and Cheryl, hi, happy Saturday. Christina's here from Minnesota. All right, Paula said, makeup can look so natural just to enhance natural beauty. Yes, that's my philosophy, Paula. I feel the same way. Hello from Texas. Oh my goodness, we have a lot of people here. Nita, hello from your truck. That's awesome, I love it. Carla, Apple Dawn, Susie Q from Georgia, Becky, Naomi, Q Tran. Uh, let's see here, Tango Family, Sagusta. All right, um, Pete, yes I do. Tell Kathy I do have a long sleeve shirt too. It's actually um, kind of a little hoodie. So if I can't show it to you today, I will make sure to get some pictures on it. Becky says, hello from Tennessee. First time I've been able to catch you live. First cruise scheduled for October. Been a huge help in prepping. Well, thank you very, very much. I really appreciate it. So you guys, um, this is going to be a makeup focused uh, live stream today. Our next regular live stream on our other channel, Cruise Tips TV for general cruise questions will be next Saturday at the same time. I believe it is July 1st. So if you have any questions about cruising in general, that will be the time to jump on over there or you can always send me a comment or a message through um, YouTube or Facebook or any of our other social media channels, so yay. That is how to reach us. Hi, Paul. Hi, Emily. Hi, Josh. Hi, Rory. Oh my goodness, so many people are coming in. This is so awesome, you guys. Yay. So we are going to go ahead and get started here really soon on our um, uh, showing you all the makeup that's in my bag. I'm still trying to fix my screen over here. It's making me a little crazy, but we're going to get it here. Emily, happy birthday to you. Hopefully, we'll see you on July 1st. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I'm going to ask Mr. Cruz Tips TV to come over one more time and help me get rid of this so I can see the chat. I'm so sorry to do that to you but can you help me get rid of this just entirely? Thank you so much. All right, you guys, so the first thing that I wanna show you today while Mr. Cruise Tips TV is helping me to fix this, thank you so much, that's much better, um, is I wanna show you the types of bags that I put all of my cosmetics in when we travel. Um, they change all the time. So what I'm showing you today is basically one of the things, one of the bags that went on my last cruise, and it's if you saw our How I Organized My Stateroom video, or even I think my toiletry video on our other channel, you saw that I had this makeup bag. And I got this in my Fab Fit Fun box. 
last season. So not the summer box, but the spring uh, box, and I love it. It's kind of got a waterproof interior, and it actually does hold all of the makeup that I'm going to show you today. So it's, it's really nice. It has a little strap on it, and it's definitely big enough. The thing about my makeup routine for a cruise, you guys, is it's really not all that different from my makeup routine at home. I maybe uh, pack a few other fancy things um, that I only use on a cruise, but really not that much. The one thing that I do that's unique that um, I'm not sure I've ever shared before is that I actually put all of my lipstick in a separate bag. And you guys are always talking to me about my lipstick shades. What color are you wearing in this video? What color are you wearing in that video? So we're gonna go into great depth today on my lipstick shades. I'm gonna show you every single lipstick in the bag and you can get kind of a general idea. So I wanna see who else is here and say hello. All right, we've got some some, uh, oh, Susie Q says we're all looking very tanned. Well, Susie Q, I used a self tanner last night because I was actually feeling very white. Um, I haven't been out in the sun that much. I've been very, very busy working and it's actually been so hot, like Linda in sunny Arizona, um, that I haven't wanted to go out and get any sun because it's been close to 100 degrees here in California. So it's been a little bit tricky. So anyway, let's get started. I wanna show you guys a little bit more about what my beauty routine is. And the, I think the easiest way to do this is because I'm not putting on the makeup or anything today is just to show you from start to finish what the beauty routine would be and as I go I'll show you the makeup so we'll start with like the basic um, lotion that I use every day. This is the sunscreen that I use every day. This is an Olay Complete All Day Moisturizer. And I actually found this cute little travel size for my next cruise. So this has barely even been used. I've only used it one time. But this is the moisturizer that I use at home and this is what I use on my face every day. So this is awesome. And Mr. Cruise Tubes TV, if you see any questions that come up regarding the beauty stuff, let me know during the live stream and I'll answer those questions. Sound good? Okay, hubby's on patrol. So this is what I put on my face right after it's been washed or right when I wake up before I put the makeup on. Now on an active day where we're doing a beach day or something like that, I actually do not wear very much makeup at all. So it's gonna be this, maybe a little waterproof mascara and some concealer and things like that. So this is step one. Step two is one of two different foundations that I wear when I am traveling. Okay, you guys, this is a drugstore brand. And as, you, as we go through the beauty bag kind of today, you're gonna find that I'm not loyal to any one brand and I'm not snobby about makeup. So I have tried every foundation in the world and I have settled on L'Oreal True Match SPF 17 Creamy Natural C3. So this is a cool shade. If you can see the top of it here, it's called C3. I buy this at Target, it's about seven or eight dollars. And lucky for me, it actually fits in my um, little, you know, my little cruise beauty bag without taking up a lot of extra space. So this is a little bit more high coverage. This is what I'm wearing now. This is my daily foundation for life and work and things like that. Now, when I am going to be um, maybe having a beach day or a little bit less of an active day and I want more like a tinted moisturizer, I use this wonderful product. This is actually a BB cream. I got this BB cream as a sample in my birch box a while ago. It was about this size and that's where I fell in love with this Marcel BB cream. This is golden glow. It only comes in one color and it's basically a skin enhancer. So it's a lightweight moisturizer and it also has some coverage. So on a beach day, this is what you're gonna see me wearing. This is kind of a cool package too. You actually just pump it out onto your finger this way. So it looks like it's a squeeze bottle but it's actually a pump a little bit goes a long way and this is a wonderful foundation alternative I also got out some of my other non makeup items that I wanted to show you for my beauty routine and what I'm going to try to do is put together a little either a little group of links in the comments below after this goes live today excuse me after the the replay the live stream gets saved to replay I'll put some links for all the products below but I might try to put a little special section of our Amazon store together with some of these items but you can get them at the drugstore or local department store easy peasy without having to do um, a whole lot of researching but we'll try to link below a couple of my favorite non makeup items that I take on cruises and and the brands vary a little bit, but these are some of my favorites, would be this Clinique Travel Size Rinse Off Foaming Cleanser. This stuff makes your face feel super squeaky clean and I absolutely love it, it's great. I also love the Clinique Rinse Off Eye Makeup Solvent. This is great, you just put it on a couple of cotton pads, like these two cotton pads right here. 
and it takes your eye makeup off very gently. So I would just saturate the pads with that and then remove the eye makeup. So that is kind of my, these go in the toiletry bag, not the makeup bag. But generally speaking, this is part of my routine. I definitely am not loyal to the Clinique brand necessarily when I am doing my you know, face washing. Sometimes I'll even just use my Dove soap if I'm on a cruise and I don't have a whole lot of time or if I'm washing off my makeup after dinner and getting ready to go to bed. But those are some really nice essential items that I very much like. Rock Girl wants to know if I will link products after the video saves. Yes, I definitely will. I will link them in the comments below. We'll put them in our Amazon store. I know that a lot of this stuff is on our Amazon store. So we got the, the moisturizer and we got the foundation. So what I do next is I apply my concealer. I need concealer more than anything in the entire universe because I'm getting those kind of baggy eyes going on a little bit more and I noticed that even if I did not wear makeup, a little bit of concealer can really help me to feel awake. So I use two different types of concealer that I wanna show you today. I actually bought a brand new one and I left it in the package just for you guys because I wanted you to see one of my favorite concealers is this Neutrogena Healthy Skin Smoothing Stick. This is in Fair Shade One, and it is wonderful. It looks like a lipstick, but I uh, just put it on underneath my eyes, and I actually use it as my eyeshadow base. And then a little secret for those of you who are beauty buffs that I just recently learned is to take a tiny bit of concealer and put it around the nose right here, which seems really, really weird, but I always do the eye, under eye and the eyelids first and apply it all over and then I tap just the tiniest bit around the creases of my nose. And apparently it helps with a little bit of redness on the nose. So this is for a normal day. When I need a more heavy hitting type of concealer, I use this magic little tube that I discovered. I Gosh, I, I think I discovered it from the Small Things blog. She's an awesome beauty blogger who has way more experience doing this type of thing than I do. And this is called Bye Bye Under Eye. And it is a very, very um, thick, pasty, concealer that you have to work a little bit harder to to apply so if I'm in a hurry I'm not going to use bye bye under eye but this stuff you guys is the million dollar product and this teeny tiny 0.28 ounce container will last you an eternity it is the bomb so again I tap it under the eyes I put a little bit on my finger and go doot, 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 and then on the top of my lids this is my eyeshadow base and then tiny bit around the creases of the nose and this is wonderful so I put this on over my foundation. On a day when I'm not wearing foundation, it just goes on over my moisturizer with sunscreen in it. So you can definitely wear a concealer without foundation, in my opinion. That's something that I have learned. Okay, so we've got foundation, we've got concealer. This is actually my eyeshadow base. So one of my next favorite products here is actually a blush that I discovered. If all of you are familiar with Bobbi Brown Cosmetics, Bobbi Brown's philosophy is to make women just look and feel naturally beautiful. And every time I use one of her products, I feel like that is the case. This is a, a little pot blush that you can see here in a nice soft shade of pink. As you can see, it's been used quite a bit. And and I absolutely love this shade. It's what I'm wearing today. I just tap a little bit on and put it on kind of the apples of my cheeks. I smile and dot a little bit around and I also put a touch on the tip of my nose and rub it in, a touch on the chin and rub that in as well. This is a shade called Pale Pink and this is called the Pot Rouge for lips and cheeks. And oh, actually, yes, I have put this on my lips before and then have put a little bit more color over the top of it. So I don't think it stands alone very well. I don't think it's something that um, I would like to use on my lips all the time, but for a beach day or for a really natural look, this is a wonderful blush. Another blush that I love is in this kit that I got in one of my FabFitFun boxes. And this is a contour kit in light or medium. ISH is the brand, and this is kind of embarrassing, but that stands for I'm Smoking Hot. So their hashtag on the back says, I'm Smoking Hot. It took me forever to figure out what ish stood for, but that's pretty funny. So this is the contour kit. As you can see, I have completely obliterated the highlighter. This was a really light, beautiful kind of um, highlighter that I use so much that it's gone. But the pink, lovely blush that I use here is something that I apply with this brush right here, which I got in an Ipsy bag. This is a blusher. Um, I apply that to the apples of the cheeks when I'm not wearing the little pink pot. And then this here is a bronzer and this is a contour, kind of like a, like a, a you know, and a, a shaping 
this thing. I don't really know. See, I told you guys, I don't really do makeup stuff that much. I just know what works for me. So I take a little bit of this contour stuff right here and I tap a little bit on and then I apply it right underneath the cheekbone. So underneath the blush. So it just kind of has, you do like a little bit of a line underneath the blush and that works really well for me. So this is a really great contour kit that I absolutely love. Another new product that I just got in my FabFitFun box that is amazing that I wish I had on my last cruise is this gorgeous Cargo HD Picture Perfect Highlighter in Bronze. If you saw our FabFitFun unboxing, you already saw this product. It is extremely um, rich in the sense that a little tiny bit of this highlighter goes a long way and it really gives you a glow. In fact, when I put it on today, my husband's like, you look a little bit shiny. So I took my, um, my blusher brush and I applied this kind of on the forehead, down the nose, and then right here above the cheekbone. And then I tapped a tiny bit here and then a little bit in the corners of my eyes to kind of brighten up my eyes a little bit. So this stuff is wonderful, you guys. This is in the FabFitFun Summer Box. And of course, we did our FabFitFun unboxing live last week. And I was able to get an affiliate link for FabFitFun as well. So we do get a little commission if you buy a subscription using our link. It is in the comments of that box, so that's really cool. If you're interested in doing that, I would love it if you would do that. You also get a $10 discount code if you click on that link. So the code is BEACH, and it says it right in the, um, in the notes section of the FabFitFun unboxing. So before I move on to the next bit of makeup fun. I wanna see if anybody has any questions for me or if we have anything in. Let's see here. Oh, hi, Bonnie. I'm glad Princess is here. <laughs> um, I remember you telling me before, Bonnie, that you're only allowed to use La Roche-Posay. That stuff is beautiful. I love it. I took some on my last cruise, this teeny tiny bottle, and boy, is that a treat. I love it. Mr. Cruise Tips TV, any questions you see coming in that I need to answer? Nope. Nope? Okay, sounds good. So, thanks, you guys, for bearing with me as I... Um, as I get back to it. Okay, so we covered blush, we covered contour and highlighting, and now I think we should probably go to eyes. So one little splurge that I've decided I'm going to take on my next cruise, you guys, that um, occurred to me at TJ Maxx last week with some fake eyelashes. I'm gonna go for it on formal night. These were $2.99 last week at TJ Maxx, and my rule is that I will only apply false lashes if they are self-adhesive. That glue that you have to put on fake lashes burns my eyes, drips into my eyes, ruins my eye makeup. It is a no-go for me. So I bought two pair for my next cruise this summer to Alaska, and I'm really excited to try these out, just for formal nights though. I really don't have long lashes, so this is something that I'm really excited to try. So let's get over to some of the eye routine that I have here. I'm gonna go ahead and move around a few things. So my first step in my eye makeup routine is to, after I have put the concealer on my lids as an eyeshadow base, I use a van like a French vanilla shade. Um, this particular product is from Melaleuca.com. My sister-in-law sells Melaleuca, and I have a monthly membership. So I get this little eyeshadow in French vanilla. Their Say Bella um, brand of cosmetics is very nice at Melaleuca.com, and this is my eye base. So I actually, don't laugh at me, I told you guys I'm not a serious makeup person. I actually apply my base with a cotton ball. So I rub it in like this, and then I tap it all over the lids, and I have a nice French vanilla kind of a base. The second step, in my eye makeup routine is to apply, generally speaking, on the lower lid like I have today, something kind of bronzy. So this is the color that I'm using right now, today, and this is the color that I use on almost every cruise, and I apply it with this little brush that I also got in an Ipsy bag. I would never be buying brushes for myself if it wasn't for my Ipsy. So I just tap it on here, apply underneath the, um, the crease, all across the lower lid, and then I put my eyeliner on. Sometimes I'll put a little bit of a darker shade in the crease of my eye, and when I do that, I use one of these little Clinique palettes, and I will use a brush like this. This is an amazing brush that's forever old, and this is designed to get into the crease. So I would tap into the darker one and apply it kind of slowly until it really sticks in the crease of the eye right here. All right, so we have the shadow. We're good there. Next step for me, usually after I put my shadow on, I use eyeliner. So my eyeliner is the one thing I mix up a lot and I, have, I don't have any brand loyalty there. I'm just really all over the road. But there is a product that's my favorite right now for eyeliner. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, this is the Ico London Fat Liquid Eyeliner in Black. Look at the tip 
of this liquid eyeliner. Doesn't it look more like a Sharpie? <laughs> so this is kind of foolproof. When you apply it, you can just pull on the eye just a tiny touch and apply it in one stroke. Even with a cat eye, you're really only doing one or two strokes. It's very, very thick and it kind of makes it easier for me. So I'm wearing that today. I'll close my eyes just a little bit. I didn't do much of a cat eye. I just extended out a teeny, teeny, tiny bit. On my lower, uh, my lower lash here, my lower lash line, I tried a new product today that is super awesome for a cruise. I just got this in my last Ipsy bag, but um, it is a waterproof shade of Makeup Forever. So it's called Aqua XL Eye Pencil, and I got this little guy in a black shade, and I applied it on my lower um, lash line today, and it's actually holding up pretty well. I think it's holding up pretty well. Let me check a mirror and see if it's staying on. It is staying on. My eyes tend to water a lot. I kind of have allergies, and in the morning, my eyes water all the time, so I really want something that's going to stay on that bottom lash line. So this is waterproof-ish. Uh, it says it stays on until you take it off, but I don't know. I'm really rough on eyeliner. But this is a really nice product. This is what the sample packet looked like. Again, it's Makeup Forever and it is called Aqua XL Eye Pencil, and that's pretty exciting. So I have a million eyeliners. I'm gonna pull out a few of them and show you some of my favorite brands here, and I'll let you know how I mix it up. I have a thinner um, Ciate London Fierce Flix uh, liquid eyeliner that I use on the upper line when I want a little more definition, and I just broke it. Yep, I just broke it. That's really funny. <laughs> let me see if I can, okay, there we go. You can see there's a thinner tip on this one. So that's my other liquid liner, I only have two. And then I have, a, a, as you can see, these are really tiny now. I have these Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencils in a variety of colors. This is a very purple color, this is called Riot. And then I have one of my favorite kind of brownish taupe colors. This is also Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil in Stag. These are kind of like a gel type consistency. The eyeliner that I've used forever though, and that I will continue to buy at the department store whenever there's a Clinique bonus available, is what we call Clinique Cream Shaper for Eyes in Chocolate Luster. This is what I normally apply to my, uh, my bottom lash line, and it's a beautiful chocolatey brown. It's blendable. You can definitely build on the color. You could apply just a little bit, or you can go for more of a smoky eye, and since I'm more light complected and my hair is kind of blonde, well, maybe not naturally, but it is blonde, <laughs> the brown actually looks better than black sometimes on me, so I use this a lot. The last little eye pencil I want to show you guys is also from Birchbox. This is an Aero brand enhancer. This is a waterproof eyeliner in a color called Bright Now, which is actually pink. This morning, and normally, I actually applied this to the inside of my eyes, kind of just drew it on and then tapped it around for a nice little highlight and to draw the light towards the center of my eyes. Let's look at the mascaras now. I actually have three mascaras I want to show you today. When I go on a cruise, I do not pack all three of these guys. These are definitely just kind of my arsenal. But the truth is I get a gazillion uh, mascaras in my beauty boxes. I never, ever, ever buy mascara. I only ever get them in a beauty box or a Clinique bonus maybe from you know Nordstrom or something like that. So this one, because I think this is gonna be the most interesting to all of you, is my Clinique High Impact Waterproof Mascara. This is great for beach days. And it, this one's a little old, so it's hard for me to get open, but it has a nice little applicator and it works pretty well. It's not gonna give you the chunkiest lashes, but it definitely works. And it's something that I do like for cruises. This is probably one of my favorite mascaras of all time. Again, I just got it in an Ipsy bag. This is also from It Cosmetics, which is the same brand that makes Bye Bye Under Eye amazing stuff, you guys. This is called Superhero Mascara. My lashes never look long. Somehow, this little guy makes my lashes look so long. I love it, it's wonderful. It's a great lengthener and I highly recommend it. This is relatively new in my arsenal, definitely going on a cruise. And last but not least is Clinique's Chubby Lash. This is a nice all around favorite for just about anybody. It's not chunky, it's not clumpy, and it applies really well. This is actually from one of the latest Clinique bonuses at Nordstrom, I love it. So we just got through all the mascara, and I think we are almost done with looking at all the makeup except for the lipstick, so I'm gonna put that over there. I do have a little sharpener that I take with me. This thing is ancient, you don't wanna get a close up on it, but I carry the sharpener in my bag, perfect size for a cruise, and I also carry a lash curler. So we got this little guy, he usually goes on a cruise with me too. So that's pretty much 
the makeup. So what do you guys think? Should we take a look at the lipstick? Before we do that, let me see what's going on in the chat here and say hello to everybody. Let's see here. Bethany says, I'm helpless with liquid, liquid liner, but I still try. I know, it's really hard. Um, Bethany, I have a fun tip for you with liquid, liquid liner that you will never believe. You can actually take some scotch tape. And you take the tape and you actually take a piece of it that's about maybe three inches and you rest it on your eye just like that to make a cat eye. So you tape it down and then you draw your liner up the tape just a wee bit. And as long as you have the tape even on both sides of the eyes, it's a really great foolproof way to get the liner to come out. So if you can get a steady hand for the liner on your lid, that makes a really fun cat eye. Give it a try and let me know what you think. Um, let's see here. All right, hi Mary, welcome. Kimberly wants to know if I have a favorite Ipsy bag. Oh, Kimberly. I, you know what, I am so incredibly happy with Ipsy every time I get it. I, I don't know which one would be my favorite, but in terms of bag designs, what would be my favorite? There was the one with the, the woman on it that was very, it was a very artsy looking kind of aqua bag. It was white with an aqua kind of flowy lady on it. I love that one. I also like the one that they did, I think it was last month or the month before that was clear and it had the little ice cream cones on it. I thought that was really cute. So. Yeah, let's see what else is going on here. Um, Sagusta said, any good looking skin suggestions for us non-makeup cruisers? Yes, Sagusta, I do. I actually don't always wear makeup on a cruise at all. I, in fact, when we go to the beach, usually the only thing I do is put on some lipstick and some concealer, and I just recommend that you get a really solid, um, uh, facial moisturizer that doesn't burn your eyes. Also for people who don't like makeup, BB creams and tinted moisturizers are a really nice way to go. Um, so I hope that that helps you. I'm not sure if if that's what you were looking for for non-makeup, but I think with your skin, just keeping it hydrated is always a good thing. Obviously exfoliate once or twice a week to keep it kind of glowy and nice is always great too. And stay out of the sun, right? Linda wants to know how many bags do I end up using and do I put them into packing cubes? No, actually Linda, I don't put them in packing cubes. I actually throw them just like this into my backpack and I usually limit my makeup bags to two, lipstick and everything else. However, I do have a separate toiletry bag which you can see in our packing videos and also in my um, what's in my toiletry bag video that we did not too long ago. I hope that helps you. Let's see here. I'm going to scroll up a little bit and see if I missed any other questions. Do you have any for me? From Brittany Stites. Anyone know makeup items, if makeup items have to be placed in TSA liquid bags, mm -hmm. I'm a BB and liquid foundation user. Okay, sounds good. Who was that again? Brittany. Stein. Brittany wants to know if makeup has to be placed into TSA bags. That's a really tough call. Um, usually, you don't have to put it in them, but I would put your moisturizer in the TSA bag without a doubt, but usually my foundation, I do not. If it stresses you out though, Brittany, put it in the bag. Just don't worry about it. Stick it in the bag. Anything that can be construed as liquid at all. You know what? Who needs to worry, right? Unless you need it on the airplane, put it in your TSA bag. I, I hear you. Okay, let's see here. Bonnie wants to know about my Manny um, Petty products, not the Fishy Pedicure. That is an awesome question. Bonnie, I'm a cheapskate. I also don't like doing my nails. I hate it, I think it's awful. I, I really am kind of a tomboy with my nails, but recently the lovely ladies at my office turned me on to gel manicures and specifically doing your own gel manicures. Now I splurged on Friday and I got a gel manicure at the salon. I got a manicure and a pedicure. This stupid manicure was $45 for gel. I, I'm just like, that is ridiculous. Ridiculous. I could buy a shore excursion for that, so I'm not gonna do that very often. I get a manicure maybe every six months. So here's my tip for you. Go to Walmart if you're interested in trying out gel nails and buy the Sensation Nail Complete Gel Kit. It comes with a UV or LED, I think it's an LED light, base coat, top coat, instructions on how to apply all that stuff, and then you can do your own gel nails. I do my, my fingers and my toes gel now, and these last for two weeks. Normally a manicure on me would last for about four hours. I am not exaggerating, Bonnie. Washing dishes, chasing around a child, gardening, just showering, blow drying my hair. I am so rough on nails, so gel is my, my favorite thing right now. Um, someday I'll show you a picture of my gel kit. I really should have brought it out here. I'm so kicking myself. I'm really sorry that I did not do that. Uh, let's see here, any other questions that, um, that you can see? Mm -hmm. Let's Kimberly see. Buchanan, do you have any favorite beauty bloggers? 
Oh, Kimberly Buchanan said, do I have any favorite beauty bloggers? I don't watch very many, but I do love the Small Things blog. I think she is so adorable. Um, and I actually stumbled upon her one time when I was going to a wedding and I was looking for an updo tutorial for my hair and I stumbled on her and I'm like, oh my God, I can actually do an updo. And it took me like 45 minutes and two tries, but she's a cutie. Her name is Kate. She's very popular on Instagram as well. She's a blogger, but she also does videos, step-by-step -step videos makeup reviews. She's she's very big time. Other than that, I can't think of anybody else that I've really watched. I think she's the only one. I actually, people often ask us who we like to watch on YouTube and it's really sad and unfortunate, but I don't watch very many people at all. If I do, I catch them only here and there. So I might subscribe to 50 people, but I only watch maybe one of their videos maybe once a month when it really stands out to me or when I have time. So anyway, I know it's kind of a bummer, but um, but yeah, Kate, Small Things Blog. She's awesome, I love her, I'm telling you. Let's see here. Paula, thank you very much for complimenting me on my beauty tips. I'm trying to get a little bit better about it because I do think it's fun. I just don't I just don't really feel like I'm all that talented with it and I also don't shake up my routine that much. This is what you see is what you get at home on a cruise, on the weekend, during the week. <laughs> well, you know, there's really not a lot of variety. Okay, any other questions that you can see, my friend? I had a tip from Tammy Hypes. Ooh, Tammy has a tip for us. All right. If you do use eyelash glue, use an eyeliner brush to apply. It gets a perfect thin line. Yay, do you have your mic on today, honey? No? Okay, so Tammy said if you do use um, eyelash glue, use a, what kind of a brush? Eyeliner. An eyeliner brush to apply it because you get a perfect line. See, Tammy? This is why I need you people because I don't know anything like that. So thank you very much for the tip. I really appreciate it. Okay, so do you guys want to see my lipstick? Okay, I'll get everything out. Sharon, I'm with you. Getting gel right before vacation. No chipping when you get in the water. Yeah, good idea. I used to get a pedicure, um, Sharon, and when I would go to like swim at, the, swim at the beach, you know how the sand, the roughness of the sand would totally destroy my pedicure. So that's why I got interested in gel. I'm really into that now. Susie, I'm drinking your favorite LaCroix. Yeah, isn't this good? Curate, this is the Cerise Limon flavor. I know this is not a soda episode, but this stuff is really refreshing and light and wonderful. I love LaCroix. I think I might be addicted to it. Um, and I, my son drinks it too. And I know there's nothing artificial in it, but I feel kind of bad that I'm letting him drink carbonated beverages all the time, but he will share one with me in a lot of different flavors. And we just really love this. They're also really good for making cocktails, you guys. This and doTERRA essential oils from my friend Danette are so good for making cocktails, so thank you. All right, you guys. Oh, Kimberly wants to know, can I list all the subscription boxes I subscribe to? Kimberly, I would be happy to. Um, I currently subscribe to Birchbox, which is a monthly subscription box, and we all always do reviews on those. Um, I also subscribe to Ipsy, which I love. I also subscribe to Walmart, both the classic and the trendsetter. The classic box at Walmart is for ladies over 35, which is me. And the trendsetter is for ladies under 35, which is not me, but I lied on my birth date and got a second subscription. Um, I also have FabFitFun, which I love, and we have an affiliate link for in our last FabFitFun unboxing. What am I missing, honey? Any other subscription boxes you can think of? I said Birchbox. Ooh, are you bringing me my sweatshirt? <gasps> You're such a good man. Do you guys want to see my new sweatshirt from um, Spreadshirt? Yeah, no, we don't want to bore you guys with our merch, but if you want to see it, let me know and I'll show it to you. Um, oh yeah, Becky, my Target, yes. I do get Target beauty boxes, but they are not subscription boxes. So thank you for reminding me about that. I knew I was forgetting something. Okay, um, let's see here. Christina wants to know, do you ever use the beauty spa on board cruise ships? Christina, no. Remember how I was telling you I was a cheapskate? I've stopped going to the spa on the cruise because I cannot handle the prices. It's ridiculous, they're out of control. I will not spend $150 on a massage. There's just too many other things I'd like to do. And I'm not, while we do relax a lot on a cruise, we're pretty active people and we really just, I don't really wanna go lay around. And my husband will rub my feet for me for an hour. If I, I just ask him, he's an angel and he's the best foot massager in the world. So. I have my built-in spa, and I'll do my own little facials, but I prefer going to my um, my esthetician back home for facials and stuff. I just don't like to splurge on it anymore. I'm a cheapskate, so I hope that that helps you. Okay, you guys, so you're, oh yeah, Ipsy, Diane, yes, I subscribe to Ipsy. Bonnie, yes, I'm wearing the tank top. I will show it to you. I'm trying to see. Okay, so this is the tank top, Bonnie. 
It says, you, me, in the high seas, cruise tips TV. I think I need to make the image bigger. This is the one from Spreadshirt and um, move it up a little bit so you can see it. So I'm always a little bit hesitant about where to put the image on these things so it doesn't look too weird with the bust, if you know what I mean. So that's that. Okay, um, Hubby brought out my new sweatshirt from Spreadshirt. I'm going to show it to you guys. It, ha it has a name. I want to explain it to you. Let me see here. Oh, thank you. Where is the, bear with me, you guys. Okay, so this sweatshirt from our new spread shop is called the Women's Wide Neck Sweatshirt in Heather Black. It's really cute, I just got it. And it does really have a wide neck, so it's kind of got like this 80s look to it when you put it on, you know, like flash dance or everything was very off the shoulder, but here it is, I'm gonna hold it up for you. So we have like maybe nine different designs over in our spread shirt shop. Some of them are a little bit more feminine than what we have on the Amazon shop. And so you can get any product with any design over there. And what we also did is for people who don't want Cruise Tips TV logos on things, who just maybe want cool cruise wear, we put a lot of the designs up without our logo. So you can have this one that just says seize the day without Cruise Tips TV. We love when you promote us, but we don't think you have to. This, by the way, you guys, is a medium. And my tank top is a small. I, I generally have a pretty good idea of what my sizes are. Um, and in, in a sweatshirt that is kind of more like fitted, I'm gonna go with a medium because I do not have skinny arms and I need things to be a little bit more loose. So I hope that you guys like it. Thank you, Alicia. Okay, let's see here. Did you see anything else? Did you, any questions you want me to answer? No, okay. Two, two new designs on Amazon. Oh, yes. And in our Amazon t-shirt shop, we have two new designs. My husband made the cutest one with a back design that has an anchor on it that says, it says High Seas Squad. It's so cute, you guys. So it's got a big anchor on the back and it says High Seas Squad underneath the anchor. And that one is only in our Amazon merch shop. We'll link all that stuff afterwards. So this, um, the sweatshirt that I showed you is called the Women's Wide Neck Sweatshirt Heather Black and the brand is Bella in Spreadshop. And the tank I'm wearing is a fitted tank and it's called the Women's Bamboo Performance Tank by All Sport. The reason I'm telling you which one they are, you guys, is because Spreadshirt has so many products available and we've made them all available to you that we want you to know know which ones we're talking about because if you were to just go and look at the tank tops you'd see that there's four designs just for women so this one's more fitted they also have a blousey flowy one they have regular sweatshirts without the wide neck and they also have hoodies the hoodies can be found in a section called jackets and the sweatshirt with the wide neck is actually in a place called long sleeve shirts. So if you have any trouble finding stuff on Spreadshirt, let me know. The shop, you can reach our Spreadshirt shop by going to, here you go, grab a pen, shop.spreadshirt forward slash cruise tips TV. But again, we'll link it below. So you do not need to worry about that. Okay. So, Carolyn, um, no, you don't need to buy travel size mascara. Regular size is okay. It just so happens, Carolyn, that I only use the ones I get in my beauty boxes, and they're always really tiny, so it's nice, it's convenient, but I never buy them. So, okay, you guys, hope you liked the um, shirt and the tank. Thank you so very much. And I'm gonna show you all of the lipstick that I use on a cruise ever. And of course, I don't always take all of these, but I wanna show you everything. My secret tip for you is once you get on the cruise, to take one of the little glasses that they give you for drinking water. If you wanna keep your lipstick out, put them in a glass. And that way you're not digging through a bag. I actually just... Second. Oh, we're buffering. Let me know when we're back, you guys, okay? Let me know when we're back. Okay, we're back. Linda, are we back? Yes, two thumbs up. Okay, Linda's saying we're back, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue, and we'll show you everything else that's in here. Okay, anybody else saying we're back? Not yet? Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna continue in case we are back because I don't want to bore everyone with a little uh, downtime here. But anyway, this is the, the Moisturizing Lip Color Balm. This one is definitely more sheer. So what I did today is I applied this Stila lip color that is very, very rich over the top of it. Okay, Pete says we're back. 
We've got a lot of people saying that we're back. Great, thank you guys so much. In case, when we cut out of the live stream there, which we often lose the live stream here on YouTube, I'm really sorry, you guys, it's out of our control. If you missed what I was saying, this is the chubby stick that's my absolute fave that I pretty much wear every day in Pudgy Peony. I have three of them, one in my bathroom, one in my desk at work, one in my car. I know it's ridiculous. So I darkened that one up a little bit with this Stila Stay All Day Lipstick in Bella, number 13. This lipstick, however, is a totally different experience from Pudgy Peony. This is going to stay in place. Now, I, I'm going to swatch this on my hand so you guys can see the different colors of the Stay All Day because I actually got these in a trio kit from Birchbox. This will not move when you eat or drink. If you apply it right on a naked lip, it doesn't move at all. So this is Stila Stay All Day in Bella. This is Stila Stay All Day in Beso, which obviously means kiss. This is the red shade. I rarely wear this, but because it's an awesome formal night shade, I definitely wanted to show it to you guys. And this is another awesome favorite of mine. This is um, Venezia. This is the same brand, Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Venezia. And again, this was a kit of three. And this is definitely your coral peachy flavor. So the flavor, <laughs> color, sorry. These are the three shades in the Stila Stay All Day. These are awesome. Again, when I go on a shore excursion and I know I'm gonna be swimming in the water and I don't wanna wear a lot of makeup, this little guy is likely to get dabbed on my lips over a moisturizer with some waterproof mascara, concealer, and that's it because it doesn't, it doesn't really come off my lips. I believe someone asked me what I was wearing in my sailing vlog from our Cabo trip recently, and this was the one. This lasted me for probably three hours through a couple of cocktails, a dip in the ocean, some guacamole, <laughs> and some high winds. So this stuff is amazing. So I love that kit. This is my everyday though. And let's go through some of the other things. One of my other awesome secret weapon products that I love is the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. Now this is a clear product. This is a plumping product. It smells like cinnamon and it gives your lips a nice little plump. And as you can see, mine is almost gone. I love this stuff. So this is great if you like those lip plumpers, but boy, do you feel it. You apply this stuff and it's like whoosh. <laughs> the first time I tried one of these, my husband and I were in Las Vegas on the strip and we were we went into Sephora and I actually bought one and then put it on for the first time. And <laughs> He's like, how do you like the lipstick? I'm like, it's great. And he said my lips were like all puffed up and stuff. So I'm always a little bit careful about which one of these lip plumpers I buy because I really don't want to look like I've had plastic surgery or collagen injections on my lips. But anyways, so um, Carla wants to know if I've ever tried Burt's Bees lip colors. Yeah, I do have a few of their chapsticks and their lip colors. I like them. What do you think, Carla? They're awesome. I think they're really great. Very awesome. Okay, so let's go back to the Clinique Chubby Sticks because I do have more. And then I'm gonna show you my wildest lipstick ever at the very, very end, okay, you guys? But this is another um, Clinique Chubby Stick. This is in a color called Plushest Punch. And this is from the Intense line. As you can see, this is much more, um, this is much more of a stain than my, um, my, Pudgy Peony. Look at the difference between Pudgy Peony, which applies more like a balm, and then this is Plushest Punch. Even though the containers look the same, you guys, if you buy Clinique Chubby Sticks, watch for the difference between the balm and the Intense. They're really different. So there's the difference between those two right there. And then again, I have another set of similar ones that are about the same color, but one is Intense and one is a balm. This is more of a an orange color. This is Hefty as Hibiscus, and this is a gorgeous orangey color that is in the intense shade. So again, heftiest hibiscus, Clinique Chubby Stick, intense. And this is the balm that I think coordinates beautifully with it. This is the Moisturizing Lip Color Balm in oversized orange, but it's really not an oversized orange. It's really like a, I would say like mild tangerine. You can't even see it on my hand. So there's that little comparison for you. And I'm save the best for last. This is my controversial lipstick. This is also the Stila Stay All Day lipstick and I got this as a treat to myself after falling in love with this trio of Stay All Days from Stila that I got from Birchbox. I decided to treat myself to this crazy purple lip color. I wore it in a vlog one week, you guys, and I swear to you, I got like hate comments from people. They, some people loved it and they're like, oh my God, that is so gorgeous on you. And then other people who I'd never even seen before came out of the woodwork and were like, 
oh no, 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 no on the lip color that looks horrendous on you. Don't wear it again, but I wear it every so often because I feel defiant and I'm a little bit of a rebel, but this is gorgeous. It's extremely bright, as you can see here. You have to wear it with the right outfit. You know, it, ha it you can't wear it with something that that is, um, that is already wild and crazy. You have to wear it with black or blue or something like that, but this is that color and it's gorgeous. And the color is Como. So C-O-M-O -O, and it's just a fabulous purple and I love it despite what the mean comments said. So I think we did it, you guys. I think we got through all of the makeup, all of the peripherals and all of the lipstick. I do have one other thing I wanted to show you. A lot of times people ask me about how I do my hair and I did get my um, I did get my curling iron out to show you today because I have been using the same curling iron for a really long time and it's just a fabulous kind of beach waver. And this is, oh dear, I just knocked a bunch of papers over. This is a Babyliss Pro Nano curling iron that I can no longer find on Amazon. I got this guy somewhere like TJ Maxx or Marshalls years ago, probably two or three years ago. But the thing is, is it, it spins. So I think the closest thing you guys could find to something like this is a beach waver. And what I do when I do my hair, for those of you who are asking me to do a hair tutorial, because I probably won't, because I am i just don't know what I'm doing with this kind of thing, what I do, I'll tell you how I do my hair. I section it all off, and I put it in a clip in the top of my head, like this. And then I go around and curl the entire bottom facing back. So I just go like this, I wait for eight seconds, I do the next strand, I go all the way around, and then I do the same thing on the top of my head, and then I run my fingers through it. On formal night, on a cruise, the only difference is that I'm probably going to put some bobby pins in my hair while the curl is still hot to give it a little bit more pizzazz, a little bit more um, lift and make the curls more dramatic. But I, I do the same thing with my hair pretty much every day of my life. On the weekends, it gets thrown in a ponytail, but that's pretty much my hair routine. So what do you guys think? Do you have any other questions for me before we wrap up? We're going on 45 minutes. We're going over 45 minutes here. And I'd love to answer any questions. Um, if they're cruise related questions, come to our live stream on our Cruise Tips TV channel next Saturday, July 1st at noon, same time, and we'll answer them. Um, let's see here. Uh, Tiffany has some questions for your honeymoon cruise. You're going in nine weeks. Will we be doing a live Q&A on our Cruise Tips TV channel? And yes, you can ask questions there. And my husband already answered your question. I'm sorry. Tiffany, you can. You can also always leave me comments here on YouTube and I'll answer them for you if I don't get to them on a live stream. Um, you can also send me messages on Facebook. I respond really quickly in the evenings and before work in the morning when I can. So we would love to help you with that. Not a problem. Um, Christina wants to know how easy is it to get to bring heated hair tools on board cruise ships. The fine print says no heating devices. Christina, I am so glad you asked this question. It is one of people's most common questions about cruising because you're doing such a great job and you're reading the fine print of the cruise contract and it does say that, but heat tools are allowed. You may take your own blow dryers, curling irons, and flat irons, no problem. I've never heard of anyone getting them confiscated. I will tell you, that I have had an issue on one cruise ship where when I plugged in my curling iron, my curling iron got way too hot. So what I do now as a rule is I turn my curling iron down a little bit and I don't torch my hair, but I burned like the, all, the back of my hair really badly one time on a ship. So if you, you know, normally curl at 360 degrees, maybe curl at 320 and, uh, you know, be really careful about that because they run a little bit hot. So... Anyway, Sagusta says, I've worked in TV production for over 25 years. I'm impressed with your cam oh, your on-camera work and Mr. Cruise Tips TV's production skills seems to be more than a hobby. Thank you, Sagusta. I really appreciate that. Yes, my husband does have a professional background in, um, in some video editing. And when before we started doing Cruise Tips TV, we for a short while did film weddings. And we both picked up some video skills at that time. We did get some professional training and that really helped, but my husband, used to be an IT guy, a network administrator, and a web developer before um, we did this, and he still does that stuff too. But um, yeah, it really helps. It's, it's a nice combination because I'm terrible with tech, and he does everything on the back end, and I do everything on the front end, and it just works out really beautifully. So thank you so much. He appreciates it, and I appreciate it. Um, Maritza says, how long should I wait to apply sunless tanning before the cruise? Oh, look at you. Good beauty question. Um, Maritza, I apply it the night before. 
Um, I find sunless tanners to be kind of stinky, so I try to apply them before I go to bed so I don't have to smell myself. Is that gross? It's horrible, but I don't like the smell. Um, so I would do it the night before. I think that's a good idea. Um, anyways, you guys, very, very awesome questions today. Thank you all so much for joining. We are going to wrap up right now. What will happen is all of the comments that you have left today, unfortunately, will go away when we save this to replay. So if you have any questions or if you have anything you want to share with me afterwards, go ahead and just leave it in the comments or if you have a tip for somebody leave it in the comments below because unfortunately we lose all of this um, interaction Barbara's asking if we have any products to get rid of the bags under our eyes Barbara I've never found a secret but I definitely recommend eye cream I know Clinique makes a roller ball that's really nice that you might want to try I usually just use any kind of eye cream but as you can see I'm not successful <laughs> because I still have bags under my eyes so Thank you very much, everyone, for joining us today on this live stream. We really appreciate it. And thank you all also for all of your suggestions. Yes, I can tell you want to say something. Next yeah. cruise gear drops on Wednesday. Okay, great. What's the product? Compression bag. Okay, cool. Oh, you guys, we have a video coming up, a video review sure. on, this, uh, on cruise gear here on this channel. And it is going to be a video review of some awesome compression bags that goes up on Wednesday. So be sure to check that out. And don't forget to join us for our next live stream on our regular channel, Cruise Tips TV, next Saturday at noon, where we answer general Q&A, um, you know, cruise questions. And I see a few more questions coming in. I think we're probably a little too late to answer most of them, but I'm going to try to answer. Suzy Q wants to know what sunless tanner I use. St. Tropez brand sunless tanner is the bomb. They have a shower variety that you use at the end of your shower and it's really exceptional. I'm gonna try to put a few in the links below in the link below because Suzy Q, even though I can picture the bottle I use in my mind, I'm not remembering the brand. So I'll link for you in our Amazon store afterwards. Thank you all so very much, so very, very much everyone. Oh One yes. More One more question. Oh see we're never gonna sign off today. I got another question. From huh? Alicia, do you see that? From which one? Alicia. 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 Oh um both Stila and Too Faced dry and crack. How do you stop it? Alicia, yeah, I experienced that too. I just use a little bit of um, chapstick or lip gloss over the top. So obviously it's not going to stay on as long when you do that, but I definitely will apply the Too Faced injection over the top. Sometimes I'll even just dab a little bit of chapstick on. But you're right. I mean, you're going to lose sort of the staying power of the product when you do that, but you don't have a choice. Um, Stacy, yes, you can take a flat iron on Carnival, no problem. Yes, yes, yes. Um, thank you guys so much. If I missed your question, I'm so sorry. We tried to hang on tight here and get everybody's questions. Wait until the replay goes live and then post your questions. We will see you on our next live stream at Cruise Tips TV YouTube channel next Saturday, July 1st at, well, nope, 12, 12 o'clock Pacific time. We're here in California, so I always have to remember that. We'll see you then. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, get in gear and get cruising. Bye.